that chap there. There used to be a portal here. Well, what happened to that? Some glowstone there, if I ever wanted any. Although I'm sure they'll have a witch farm at some point in the shop. I actually don't know if they have a witch farm yet. But then we don't have a large nether map or anything like that. Drawing out entire chunks. Chunks and chunks. Well, an entire map worth of area with schematics and things. But I'm already quite impressed by the kind of projects that have been done on the server. There's a guardian farm, which is, I think, perfectly functional now. I haven't been to visit it yet. So, that's very good. This is very much a farm focused server, which I'm very pleased about. I guess the most difficult resource is leather because it's not readily farmable. Oh no, we're gonna bother getting any more sugar cane. Right. Let's just go into creative, see if I can remember how to build a zero tick farm. Oh. <laughs> Should have let him know what I was doing there, rather than just disappearing. Looks like I've just turned up for a few minutes, just to steal some blaze rods and left. It's not a good look. I'm not reconnecting though, just to let him know I'm on creative, so... Oh. <laughs> this is me trying to build an efficient, uh, dungeon farm for my single player world. Why am I doing that? There we go. Probably already quite near the surface, <laughs> never mind. Right, so. Uh, it has to be dirt, I think, because it doesn't fall. Uh, I only need a redstone torch. Um, right. Oh. <laughs> forgot about that, you need water, don't you? I also never remember how uh, redstone. <laughs> oh dear me! <laughs> I also never remember how redstone torches work. I would love to know why this doesn't work with regular pistons. Why it only works? Yeah, for example, if you power if you power the sticky piston normally, it doesn't work, right? have to zero ticket. Now I wonder if that's the way pistons used to work and then because zero ticking pistons is so useful for redstone contraptions they deliberately left that in. I'm, I'm wondering if that's the way normal pistons used to work and then they left sticky pistons to work like that because the glitch where they leave blocks behind if they retract after one tick became an intended feature because obviously it's so useful for piston contraptions, piston doors, etc. That once that became an intended feature, the behaviours were different, which is what makes only sticky pistons work for zero tick farms. And only zero tick sticky pistons. And I can't see any other way why they'd be unique unless it's an because zero ticking blocks is an intentional feature. Now I could set up a farm just like this, which would be very easy, and I'd get a lot of sugarcane very quickly, but I do want to make it automatic. I don't remember how, so somehow I need to make these zero tick each other. And then you put pistons on the top and bottom to make sure that they update as well. Right, so it's something like this, where we have a block here, and redstone dust there. Ah, oh, yeah. And then we put a torch under there. And then that 
That depowers that, doesn't it? Something like that. Do we have to put pistons uh, what, here and here? Something like that. How does that power it? I don't know if it's meant to. No, that's not right. Oh, I think we put the torches underneath this. What? Here. Oh, I see. So. Something like this. And the extra pistons go such that they're like going underneath it. Okay. Oh wait, no, the blocks that we have here. Wait, how is that not powered? Oh yeah, sorry, no, the blocks that we have here has a piston on the top and bottom, both. And then so if we extend this and then we put a piston on the top of here. There we go. It's working. So I remembered reasonably well how it works. So, what's the easiest way to remember this? Okay, so let's say we have two blocks which are have three spaces between them. Okay, and then what we do with those two blocks is we put a piston on the top and bottom of them. And then a sticky piston either side of them. And then, oh, sorry, no, the, tor so the torches go between the pistons. So the torches go underneath the actual plant itself. Oh, of course they do. And then the, right, the dust, the redstone dust goes between them, doesn't it? There we go. So that's uh, basically all there is to the zero tick farm. Oh, I don't know why the water's doing that weird oscillating thing, but it's funny, so I like it. And we just need a observer piston shover. Oh, I tried that before, I forgot it's an oscillator because the piston updates the observer. Um, th th that's how much of an idiot I am, apparently. Um, I mean, this works perfectly adequately. The only issue is it's very, very, very noisy. Although it's already very, very noisy, so why not? And there we go, tons of sugarcane. See how quickly we can get this set up. How many pistons do we need? So we need two sticky pistons. The farming piston and then four extra pistons so and oh oh and I've just realized that the observer thingy making the noise is a problem because of course it is because we don't want the farm to make noise when it's switched off Oh yeah, you just put an observer on top of the piston, because pistons update when they have blocks in front of them. So, quartz should be in the minerals. Hello? Yep, it is. Right. Yes, it is. But yeah, I actually know how to craft an observer. I'm so proud of myself. I've lost all my buckets. How strange. Right, let's, let's make a new bucket then. And... So let's make a start. So it's two blocks, three blocks apart, and then we put a piston on the top. Just a second while I go and craft myself a shovel. Why did I not put this in there? 
Right, so if we put these here... There we go! And we just break one of these blocks if we want to turn it off. Presumably we could just put a lever here and that would turn it on and off as well. So the sugar cane grows. Here we put a piston. Presumably on top of the water. And then we put an observer on top of this piston. And then we, I guess... Put some redstone dust like that, and then if we put a block here, nothing happens. Okay. What if I put a sugar cane there? Okay, how? Why did that work before? Okay, just a second. Is the observer actually getting a pulse when I put a, when I put a block here? No, the observer's not getting any pulse. Oh, never mind. I think the... Oh, no, I've just found something and the structure that someone has built looks exactly like what I've just done here. It looks exactly identical. So it seems I'm not wrong after all. I don't understand that. Oh, I mean, it doesn't want to be there anyway, obviously, but... It wants to be one block higher. Of course, but the fact still remains, what I just did with that observer should work perfectly well. Uh, right, why does that not work? Is that only working 1.14? Uh, oh no, somebody, what someone's done is they've... Um, oh, this this will also work perfectly well. They placed the observer the other way. Never mind. The reason I placed it like that is because I think on the um, some of the tutorials... Yeah, that'll work fine as well. Because then obviously all you need to do is... Yeah. That's perfectly adequate. So yeah, that that's that'll do. Yeah, some of the tutorials had a system with the observer facing into the piston, but that also had a slime block and a redstone block in it, in a way that I do not understand at all. Right, let's just place the sugar cane down and put block here, and there we go. Wait, no, that doesn't work at all, that's stupid. No, because it only grows this pl Oh, that- oh my goodness me. Right. <laughs> of course that doesn't work. <laughs> I need to zero tick both pieces of sugarcane, which isn't even possible. Right. Let's put an observer into that. Okay. Please, 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 can this work? Please tell me this works. Why did I put the observer there? What is wrong with me? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Also, I have a diamond pickaxe. This is a comedy of errors, this. This is a comedy of errors. For some reason, I thought my sugarcane was two sugarcane, two blocks high, and then I just. Right, there we go. There we go. Right, now, this... There is no way that this is not going to work and I need to go to bed. Also, I really, really hope creepers aren't fixed because I've been playing on bedrock for a long time, never died to creepers.
and all of a sudden I started a Java world and I have died about 10 times already to creepers. I think I've only died to creepers as well. So I think they just explode way before they get near you on bedrock. I'm sure the mechanics are different. Also, I want an ender pearl so badly. I don't care how I get it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it to be honest. And he dropped nothing. Oh well. And that was nowhere near as dangerous as I thought it would be. So that's good news. Please tell me this works. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 that's the design I, oh, darn it, that's the design I thought of before, that's, that's stupid, because, of it. yeah, right, now, okay, wait, there's no way of avoiding that problem, it's only going to be, up it's always going to be updated by the piston, because we want to update when this block updates, right, The simplest thing to do is just when this bottom block updates, I think. So, yeah. Because that way, even when I switch the farm off, it will update through the sugarcane naturally growing, but yeah. So it just went off from the sugarcane's natural growth, but it won't go off that often. All right. Let's put a block here. Right, let's get a hopper. Let's start collecting so I can make a hopper straight away, can't I? I'm hoping that's enough to get most of the items. Let's go. How on earth is it on top of- How is the sugarcane ending up on top of here? That is annoying. And I'm out of glass. I'm putting dirt there. I don't care. So I'm just going to AFK until I've got about, say, a s chest full of these things. Make myself a little bunker. Make sure no baby zombies can get in, I guess. And I'm just going to leave that. For a few minutes. I just realised that I was not actually recording for the last few minutes because I, <laughs> I. So you have missed a couple of things. So the first thing is I went to the Nether and put some sugar cane and I named one of the sugar canes with an anvil to let them know that it was payment for taking two slime balls. I give them two stacks of sugar cane, which I think is a perfectly reasonable payment. Uh, I've got a couple of sheep. In fact, now I've got a throuple of sheep because they bred. And I got rid of all the sugar cane here because obviously I've got that farm now. And I've been breeding those cows a bit more, crafting myself a few more bookshelves, and I'm going to get an enchanting room set up in the next session. It was also something quite amusing happened when I was trying to leave those sheep, <laughs> which is worth sharing, because I was going on an F5 like this, and then I was trying to lead them backwards, and, uh, oh no, no, I wasn't, I was, I was doing this, right, and I was pressing all of the opposite buttons when I was trying to lead the sheep like this, because, I mean, I'm doing it now, actually, like, I, every time I try and move a certain way, I'm, uh, 
I'm pressing, okay, and then if I want to move that way, right, but, uh, yeah, and then I realised I can walk backwards to lead the sheep like this, in this version of F5 mode, and it's, it's not annoying and weird and confusing, um, <laughs> which, I don't know, it really, really made me laugh at the time, so, <laughs> make of that what you will.